Okay, here we are to talk about the VHS haul. <laughs> and basically I wanted to talk about this because I've been doing a lot of those lately. It's a lot cheaper sometimes when there's nothing there's nothing really going for 4K right now that's huge. So I found a bunch of old VHS tapes. I have a bunch of VCRs now. I'm not gonna use my recording VCR or my play my the one I use to um convert stuff I'm gonna use another one because if I ruin the one I convert stuff with I won't have a VCR anymore for YouTube but I have two others so it doesn't matter three altogether um, all I'm gonna say is is that I went I went out today and I found some I found a great thing that I don't normally see especially from used stuff um, I as I'm taking out the Independence Day VCR tape now I had one before I missed that cover it was a cover I had from Independence Day a long time ago. It was a lot different. I liked it. There was a holographic card that came out. I, if I'm not mistaken, the last time I got anything decent was the same thing. Independence Day, the Laserdisc version, which when you open the whole book up, it showed you all kinds of nice stuff. It seems like they focused on that a little. But that was only the older days when they released that movie. Independence Day shown virtually nothing out of the um, mediocre uh, 4K release they've had and the DVDs, those haven't been nothing. In fact, the DVDs, some of them aren't even the same kind of version when it comes to all, all that crazy stuff. Okay, so um, that's all I really wanted to say. Was there anything else? Well, there was something else that was part of the whole. There was the Hobbit movies I got all in a separate case. Not the Hobbit movies. The One of the Hobbit movies in 3D. And, um, yeah, that's it. I got Titanic. I also got something I wanted to end this video, video I was saying, Gone with the Wind for a buck. So I bought Gone with the Wind for a buck just to see if it was good or it was I could tolerate the movie. You're going to say, well, you're watching it on VHS quality. I understand that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the movie out. It's well over three hours long. And then if I like it, I'll buy the 4K. Simple as that. Um, it's just like for people that make fun of Titanic all the time. Well, let people decide for themselves whether they want to watch the movie, which I also got in VHS form. And then, yeah, you just let them make the decision. Alright, well, good luck to everybody out there. And remember that um, there's going to be, not there's not going to be like a weekly thing like this. But I say maybe every couple of months I'll go out for a haul of VHS tapes or whatever and I'll go from there. Alright, bye-bye.